Hello everyone, in this video I'll be giving you a quick overview of the light bearer event and how it works. I'll be showing you how to get your torch, where to turn your shards for experience, and more. I'll be releasing more videos that will detail how to find all the basins, how to unlock all the charms, best basin to do for a low level, and where to collect your reward. Subscribe to get notified when these videos go live. Also, if I'm missing something, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Now, Onto the video. To light any basins, you need to get a magical torch from Lucius. He can be found in the Magician Quarter in Yalahar. Say hi, then yes, and he will bring you to the Temple of Light. Go upstairs here, and you can say hi, mission, yes, and he will give you a magical torch. This torch can be worn in the arrow slot, and gives plus 25 speed, and works as a light source. This torch can be shared between players if you lose yours, or want to keep passing it on to your other characters if you're doing the event on them as well. If you have any Midnight Shards from last year, you can turn them into Lucius now for experience. If not, you'll either have to buy them, loot them, or hope your world succeeds. If your world succeeds, you'll get some in your rewards, and you can turn them into Lucius then. First of all, you can only turn in 40 Midnight Shards per year per character. When turning in the Midnight Shards for experience, you will get 300 multiplied by your level per shard up to a maximum of 60,000 experience per shard at level 200. If you're level 200 or higher, this means you'll get 2.4 million experience if you turn in 50 shards. If you're below this threshold, you can maximize the amount of experience you will gain by only holding the exact amount of shards you need to level up. For example, if you're level 100 and hand in 40 shards, you'll get 1.2 million experience. If you hold 17 shards instead, you level up to level 101 and can waste all of your mana. Hand in 17 again to get 102 and do the same. Then hand in your last 6 shards. This will only net you a few thousand more experience, but can give you the option to boost your match level a bit and make some runes. Now, on to how the event actually works. The event runs from November 11th to 15th. There are 10 basins spread around Tibia, which must be kept lit for the entire duration of the event. This means you'll we'll have to work together with other players to keep the basins lit the entire time. Each character can use their torch on a basin to reset the timer to 2 hours. The timer will then start to tick down until someone else comes along and uses their torch to light the basin as well. The reason this requires so much coordination is that the basins will have to be refreshed so they are burning 24 hours a day and each character can only light each basin once. If there is a team organizing the event on your server, it's generally good practice to look at the basin after you light it, copy the time shown, paste it in English chat, and let the organizers know which basin it is. When using your torch on a basin, you will either get the message that your character keeps the basin burning for another two hours, or you keep the basin burning for another two hours, but creatures of darkness are coming to take over the light. This means that creatures will begin spawning for 5 minutes in groups of 1-5 to five at a time. These creatures can be quite easy or very hard depending on which basin it is and your level. The same creatures always spawn at each basin. These basins can be found in Hellgate under Abdendriel, the prison in khazar Plains of Havoc, Drefia in Darashia, Tarpet Tomb by Ank, Forbidden Lands, Hero Cave in Edgeron, Formagar Glacier in Svargrond, Ramoa, also known as Bone Beast Island, and in the Magician Quarter in Yalahar. If you do plan on lighting all 10 basins, you'll need the quest to access Forbidden Lands through the Ape City quest, and access to the Bone Beast Island through the Shattered Isles quest. Failing this world event will cause Essence of Darkness to spawn in each city. These will do a small amount of damage, curse, and mana drain you. If your world succeeds, Spirits of Light will spawn in each city, which will do minor healing, and your world will have 10% more shared experience until November 30th. As for the individual rewards, there are two tiers. Players who lit at least one basin, and players who lit all 10. Lighting one basin will give you a Silver Fafnir Trophy, Keeper of the Flame, and I Did My Part achievements, if you don't yet have them, 20 Midnight Shards, and a backpack containing assorted rings and gems and 50 Christmas tokens. If you have lit all 10 basins, you get the first tier rewards, except a Golden Fafnir Trophy instead of Silver, True Light Bearer Achievement, 
10 Midnight Shards, more Assorted Gems and Rings, and 50 Demonic Essence. Also, only one time per character, you'll get a Moon Backpack and a special document that will allow you to get the Blazebringer Mount from Santa Claus at Christmas. Hopefully this can answer most of your questions about the event. If you have any more, be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching.